Yep. Greetings, it is I, Shepard Shang, bringing to you more Dark Souls. And this will most likely be the final episode, because I only got a few things left to do. Like, what I'm going to be doing here. So, I'm here in the Dark Duke's Archives Tower Prison thing, because apparently, because I bought all the stuff from Rhea, she will go hollow, and she'll be somewhere in here. I'm not quite sure where somewhere and actually I think she might be on the bottom hmm I looked some things up to see what else I what other story stuff was left and there kind of isn't very much yeah I can kill some NPCs and stuff uh, the only one I really want to kill is Patches to be perfectly honest so I'm probably going to do that because you know fuck him Asshole. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Like, uh, with Sigmire's quest line. It's over. Uh, there's nothing left that I can do with it. So, Sieglind will never show up. I can never talk to her again. And, of course, um, Sigmire is gone. Forever. Um, again, killing NPCs is something I could do, but I, I really don't feel like it. Is she not here? Did I miss her? So I might have missed where she is. Ah, yes. Yes, I did. Hello, Rhea. Goodbye, Rhea. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Let's go find Patches. And then kill him. Because fuck Patches. Okay, I think I just hit the giant crow. You pissed me off. That's what you did. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't forgive you. You piece of shit. So like I said, I'm not 100% in this game. Yeah, God, no. There's lots of stuff I missed, and I don't really care. Some of the stuff will be nice, but who gives a shit, really? Let these cutscenes play. I just noticed something on that back wall there. I didn't notice these stairs here. What do you suppose those are? I have to mention that big one back there. That big one looks a bit like the Lord Vessel, doesn't it? No. Oh. Unfortunately, there is no way to get over there. the game. Prepare everything. Uh, yeah. Now I have been in here before, but I don't care. I'll see. Ghosts walking by. We're in a white void. Somehow. Where the hell is this supposed to be? And much more interesting question, where is this supposed to be? We're like deep underground or something, right? 
Okay, so they come on the first flame, yes. There's sky up there, but if I turn around a bit, that's some kind of wall there. Does this mean we're somewhere within the walled areas of Lordran? I don't know. Maybe. I just wish there was, like, you could be somewhere in the world of Dark Souls, look over the sides, and see this place. You know, I just give a little bit of perspective. Also, something cool to note. There are five Black Knights in this area. They are respawning, and they all drop some type of chunk. Guaranteed, every time. And that's another Black Knight shield for me. So we can look another look around. Because we're never going to see this place again. See? Some sort of wall somewhere. That we had to pass through a white void to reach. Well, that's kind of annoying. <sighs> oh well, whatever. Unfortunately, I don't think I can just run past all these guys. I mean, I might be able to run past a couple of them, but definitely not all of them. I mean, the one that's like right in front of the boss door, yeah, I can probably get past that guy. The one that's on that narrow ledge over to the other area, I don't think so. See? Another chunk. Guaranteed. Which is nice, because you get every type of chunk in this area. Wish I'd done that sooner, but hey, you know, whatever. Big swings. And I think this is a white type night junk? No, red. Red. Yep. White is the axe guy. I'm taking a look around once I kill the other one. Good. For the most part. Another black knight sword. Okay. That makes no sense, seeing as I'm not human at the moment. Let's look down from here. Now obviously that fall is instant death. I mean that's pretty clear. But it isn't like an infinite drop. It really makes you wonder what this area was. I mean, what are these structures supposed to be? Where there's where there floor in between them? Hmm, yes, these little um these things, these spikes protruding out, that's uh, something that happens when uh, things melt at high heat, from, generally from explosions. Um, can't remember if there's a special term for them. Uh, but yeah, there was an explosion in one direction, there was lots of heat, it melted them, and those, uh, they, uh, I want to say flash froze, but that's not right. Um, they cooled down fast enough that they didn't just droop into uh, lumps. 
I cannot remember this terminology. No, it's not super important. It's just, it's just a cool detail they did. Basically, wherever this place is, there was a very big explosion here. And white Titanic chunk. And another Black Knight Great Axe. And Blue Titanic chunk. Okay. So, final boss, 97 hours. Let's see. Um, I may as well put on the Bellowing Dragon Crest ring. And may as well heal up that last bit of damage. Okay. Here I go. And he's dead. Victory retrieve, Soul of Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Do I get souls from beating him? Yes, 84,000 souls. So let's take a look around. Big lumps. Can't see above me. There's a bonfire. I'm not going to light that. Because screw that ending. That's not going to be my first ending. I know the story. I want the true ending. The ending that apparently is canon because of the way Dark Souls 2 was written. Yeah, I'll talk about that in a bit. Um... Huh. I made it all the way back out here, huh? So where were these other guys? Yes, praise me. Praise your Dark Lord. No, seriously, who are these other guys and where do they come from? And achievement, and now credits. Yeah, <laughs> I did it. Ah, uh, I really enjoyed this game. This this game was very challenging. It was difficult, and I love that. I like challenging games. That's why I really like the Dragon Quest games. 
Uh, they were much more difficult than uh, other RPGs. Um, but yeah, this game was so much fun. If you've never played this, you really should. I don't care how much you rage quit and whatnot. It's cool. It's really well made, too. You hear so much stuff about this and this series. It's just nuts. Um, like the fact that this was made for the PlayStation 3, and it was so graphically intensive, the, T the, 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 the PS3 couldn't handle it. It was better than the PS3 could handle. <laughs> yeah, and the story is... cool, but it's also a bit... Uh, minimalist storytelling is cool, and... You get lots of cool hints and stuff with this. You get some details. But I really would have liked some answers. <sighs> oh, excuse me. And so would the fandom, to be perfectly honest. There's just so much junk that just speculation and guessing and just inferences. And then Dark Souls 2 happened and basically said, Hey, remember all that stuff? Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. And then Dark Souls 3 came along and tried to fix some of the stuff and then could open up more questions. And then the Ring City DLC happened and said, Hey, remember how Manus was might have been the true before the um the furtive pygmy who found the Dark Soul? Yeah, no, he wasn't. Even though in Dark Souls 2 he was apparently the source of all evil, or some sh crap like that. <laughs> like when you kill him he somehow splits apart in a bunch of pieces and those pieces become the final boss for Dark Souls 2. Yeah. He actually wasn't all that important. He was just some powerful crazy guy. <laughs> what the crap? Spoilers, by the way! <laughs> yeah. I, I do enjoy the stories in these games. Again, I haven't played the others. Watch playing stuff with them. But I would just enjoy them so much more if they gave us some clear and obvious answers rather than just lots of hints and speculation. Like... Crossbeat Priscilla. You get some details for her for, for, blah, 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 for her from her stuff. One of the fan theories is that she's the child of Seath and for some reason Guinevere because Priscilla is really tall and Guinevere is the only other really tall person you see. Even though it makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> um, and of course Dark Souls 3 had happened and then it might turns out she might have been the child of the Nameless King. But of course we have no kind of confirmation at all of any of this stuff, so... If it isn't explicitly stated in item descriptions and stuff, then you just have no idea. My only real problem with these game series, I would have liked more concrete stories, even with the minimalist storytelling. Yeah, this game... It's good. There's a good reason people love this game, and why they consider it the best game in the Dark Souls series. Not counting Bloodborne, because, again, people's opinions. Bloodborne apparently is really great, I would love to have it so much, but it's a different type of game. So of the three Dark Souls games, Dark Souls 1 is considered the best. And I can believe it. It's great. Okay, those were the credits. Ah! Hey, look where we are. It's New Game Plus! Yes, I... Indeed. Yeah. I didn't know it went straight into New Game Plus. I thought I would get, like, some kind of... save option first or something. No, I guess that's some... the next game. <laughs> so I guess rather than being another video, it's going straight into New Game. Okay, sure. I'll go through the Undead Asylum to show it off, and then that'll be it. Let's see what the New Game Plus is like. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Uh huh. I am the Dark Lord. Ha! <laughs> Look at me! This is your fate. Oh crap. Well, time to break some fate. Fate can go fuck itself. There's a dog barking. <laughs> oh 
my god, look at me. <laughs> my face. Demon on the roof! <laughs> that dog is being very persistent with his barking. Northern Undead Asylum. I still have all of my 100,000 souls. Okay, that's an interesting point. I just picked up the dungeon cell key. I already had the dungeon cell key. Ah. Oh, come on! I don't even have the... I don't have the smith box anymore. I've still got the bottomless box, but not the smith box. That's annoying. So got all that. Still got all my magic and stuff. Still got all my weapons. Yep. Yep. So one of the things I was doing off screen was collecting more of the rings that I had missed. Yeah, I was looking through my uh, my rings and thinking, why don't I have more rings? Okay, look at this. Uh, six soul spheres, zero crystal soul spheres. Okay, that's cool. There's a guy in there. What? I don't think I've ever noticed that. In the various times that I've come in here, I have not looked in these cells, I don't think. Huh. No, you still die in one hit. Um, don't need that. Let's put on the Bell and Dragon Crest ring. Yep, you're back. So. How much more difficult will the Asylum Demon be? And, how many souls will I get off him? If I can beat him right here. After I level up, of course, because there's no freaking way I'm wasting 100,000 souls. On something I might not be able to beat. I can't level up yet! <laughs> oh shit, I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and put this away. Eh, nah, none of that's important. Um... Did I ever check? Can I open this with the master key? No. Let me see here. How many souls do I get from him? Yeah, and I did get the uh, just 10,000. So, um. Did I get the key? I did not. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just glitch things out? I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to get the key if I beat him from there. Yeah, go run. What do I get? Yep, I get the crack round shield, and that should be the hand axe up there then. Or whatever it was called. Because I started out as a pyromancer. Yep. Ooh, a short bow. Now. Oh. Yeah, Oswald's still there. Curiosity. Are these doors closed? No, they're not. The whole thing with them was that they close once you beat, once you uh, run from the asylum demon. So what's gonna happen when I talk to Oswald? I mean, obviously, yeah, he's gonna give me the key to this door because I can't open it, right? All right. Um, but I already have an Estus flask. What else is he gonna do? The dog is still barking. Okay. 
Yeah, so here you have it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Come on. Oh! That's interesting. Okay. So, that first one is the one to that door up there, and the big one is the one I normally get by killing the asylum demon. Huh. Okay. Oh. That was him dying. And he gave me 100 souls. Now, in theory, I should also find the pyromancy flame over here. So I can have another one of those. Yeah! What's that down there? Have I ever really looked from here? I mean, yeah, we've got lots of stuff in the distance. Is there anything around here? No? Just mountains? Okay. Can't do this? Can't do that. Alright. <laughs> Pretty big drop. Might as well not do it. So, um, yeah. This is what the first part of New Game Plus is like. <laughs> I can't help but wonder, when I go back through the my, um, and edit this stuff, just how much damage did I do, um, to the de Asylum Demon with the Crystal Soul Spear? And if I look through, um, the wiki and stuff to see how much health he has on New Game Plus. If I hadn't used the uh, homing crystal soul mass, would I have one-shot him? I have no idea. <laughs> and I really do want to know. I'll put it in as like a note or something, a, a subtitle or something. Now I swear there's supposed to be some type of item around here. Somewhere. Hold on. Yes, there is! And I most likely missed this in my first playthrough, yeah. That's what I figured it was. Just something simple for the beginning of the game. Huh. Okay. I freaking knew I had missed an item back then. You don't react yet. That's what I thought. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and trigger this, and then... I'll go ahead and end it at Firelink. Yeah, this is a fun episode. I was thinking maybe it would be a short episode I'd do with New Game Plus, but I guess it's all one episode, huh? Okay. Like, why are the crow this crow helping you? How does it know to help you? One of the things we would love to answer. Because there's stuff like that in Dark Souls 2 and 3 as well. Like, why is this crap happening? Why are they being helpful? And all this other stuff. But hey, here we are. There's a familiar location. There's a familiar bridge, another familiar aqueduct, and Firelink. Now, a quick check. Yup. So, you probably know that I mentioned it before. The reason I was going around kindling all the bonfires all the way was because they stay kindled into the new games. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, that's great. It's true. Let's go ahead and level up real quick. Faith. Because faith. And, um, yeah. Time to say goodbye. This series is over. Oh, at long last. Serious. Respond. Respond button. Ah. Uh. Finally over. I accomplished it. I started recording for these one last July, July 2016. It's currently April 2017. Button, push, push button. Yeah. In fact, this is like two or three days after I recorded that one episode where I mentioned the date of that April. Yeah. Stuff has happened. I did this really fast. 
But yeah, I've beaten Dark Souls for the first time ever. I am very happy. So, I am Shepard Chong. This was Dark Souls. Goodbye. So hey, one last thing. This is my time. 98 hours, 6 minutes, 3 seconds. There are people who can beat this game in less than 4 hours. I am not them. <laughs> okay, goodbye for real now.